Thank you so much. My talk will be a little bit different. Um, I have five minutes today, and so I'm not going to be doing a demo, but that was a wonderful demo that we just saw. Um, so first off, I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming. This is a, a wonderful conference. I know it's the second time it's ran, um, but it's very quickly become one of my favorite conferences because we get to do really nerdy things and talk about really nerdy things with people who know nerdy things. Um, and so please, you know, when you're here today, take time, talk to your peers, network. That's where you're going to get the best bang for your buck today. You're going to have some great talks over the next couple of days as well, so please enjoy yourselves. But the question I have for you today is, you know, what can you do in five minutes? Or in my case, what can I do in four minutes and 17 seconds? Um, so you could, you know, do things like help your kids tie their shoes. Pretty easy to do that in five minutes. Um, maybe you could pick out your next Netflix show. Also pretty easy to do in five minutes if you know what you kind of want to watch. If you're the Apollo 11 space capsule, you can perform about 5.9 to the 66th operations in five minutes, right? For the low, low price of about $12 billion. Not too bad. Um, you could maybe unsubscribe from email lists. I tend to do this, you know, around Black Friday every single year to help clean up my inbox. Um, or maybe you could go open some windows in your house, right? Um, suffice it to say, things have changed quite a bit. For the low, low price of $10,000, the, the Tesla uh, card can do 10 billion more operations than what the Apollo 11 space capsule could. Or if you're a threat actor, you could exfiltrate some data from the cloud. So there's lots of things you can do in, in five minutes. Um, and we'll focus primarily on this last one here. Uh, we all probably work in organizations um, that grew up in cybersecurity when you had an infrastructure that looked somewhat like this, right? You had a perimeter, you had a well-defined set of assets, uh, you had something that had like kind of known ingress and egress points, and you had a security model that was designed with this type of architecture in mind. Um, it basically helped make things be kind of easy. Um, in this environment, you probably had, um, I don't know, four hours to a couple of days to deal with um, lateral movement, to deal with exfiltration of data, to deal with things that came into your environment. Fast forward 10 years to today, and your environment probably looks a lot more like this, right? It looks like a carnival. It's no longer that wonderful, easy to protect castle. You have a significantly larger number of endpoints. You have a significantly larger number of entry points to your environment. You have different teams responsible for each one of these things. Basically, you have 100 times more complexity and everything is moving faster than it ever did before. Um, so when you think about how you design a security program for something like this, it's dramatically different than what you had been dealing with in the past. And so our biggest adversary today is time, right? We have to figure out how do we do our jobs with significantly fewer resources at a significantly faster amount of time. We basically have to get about 100 times faster in how we detect, correlate, respond, deal with all these threat actions. And it all starts with kind of re-envisioning our security programs. So as you spend the next couple of days going through the sessions we have here, speaking with your peers, networking with your peers, keep that in mind, right? If you could start over, if you could rebuild your security program from the ground up, how would you do it for the cloud native world, right? It's, it's very, very different. Um, and I only say that because it's just so much faster. If we think about why you know, we love the cloud, why we're all here for a cloud native security conference, it gives us the ability to move at an incredible speed. That same benefit isn't just for us, it also happens to help our adversaries. Um, so we have to basically come up with new ways to be able to figure out how we can detect stuff in seconds, not minutes, right? We have to respond to those threats in minutes, not hours, and we have to remediate in minutes, not days. Um, so it's basically kind of flipping the, the program almost on its head on what we've done in the past. So that's really what I have today. That's what I want to encourage you all to do today. Think about how you can take stuff you learn from your peers, how you can take things you learn from this conference today and apply it to your security programs, your environments, how you can help change those things. At the end of the day, we need to spend time in our people, in our processes, and the way we do our implementations. Tools are great. I love tools. You know, I, I work at a company that sells tools. They are a thing that we need to have, but they're not the thing that gets us to where we need to go. They're a piece of the puzzle, right? How we implement those things and do those things is what matters the most. So, I mean, kind of in closing, that, that's what I had today. Very quick, I've got 14 seconds left. So again, thanks for your time to coming out here. Have a great conference, and I hope you guys learned something great over the next couple of days. Thank you so much.